Coach, you, you got a lot of mismatches when the bigs were on LeBron. What should happen when you have those? And when you talk about when Love got that three late, um, what should happen defensively there? Well, um, you know, the, the bigs, it's hard while LeBron gets in. You see just what he did on that play with Love. When he penetrates through and then he spins and he knows where his guys are and you know, throws hard passes out to him and out of money. So, uh, you know, we're trying to back off of him. You, you can't, uh, a couple times we're just kind of, let him go and do whatever he wants. He's still got to fake at him a couple of times that we did fake at him and try to keep him, you know, guessing whether he should drive or shoot. When he did shoot, he, you know, he missed a, a few of them there. But uh, you can't just let a guy, you know, <laughs> you just can't let him just go up there and, and take a free shot. So, um, you know, he was picking us apart in the, in the first half, um, you know, with his spins, his drives to the basket. And, you know, you gotta, he's a tough guy to deal with because of his size. You know, but, uh, they, they know they've been with him and know that uh, if you get you know, a pick out there with a smaller guy, uh, you know, then he just overpowers him. Uh, so we were, you know, a couple of times, we're, you know, they send their ones up, you know, with Brandon to try to, try to uh, uh, set that's going to get that mismatch. So, uh, you know, they, LeBron can handle small guys, he can handle big guys. It's, uh, you got to do a lot of things right to beat them. Coach, KP picked up uh, early fouls on, and you know, had to come out of the game. How much did that affect your game plan on both ends of the court? Well, you know, that's big. We can't have them uh, you know, get the silly fouls. You're going to get fouls if you're aggressive and you're going for rebounds, you're going for block shots, that type of thing. But, uh, you know, on, on free throws to go over and back and, and try to get that ball, uh, you know, that's where he'll learn. You know, he's young. He's got to, you know, stay off that. Whether, uh, whether it looks like he might get it or not, uh, he's got to understand that the rest may call that uh, and then we need him on the court. You know, he's only out there for, what, six minutes in the first half or something like that. So, uh, you know, it's tough, uh, you know, without Derek. And then uh, to have him not get out there, then, you know, it puts you in a, a tough spot. Coach, tonight you had a rough first half. What do you say to the team at halftime tonight coming into the third quarter? Well, uh, we emphasize making the free throws, first of all. You know, uh, I think we had seven or eight missed free throws in the first half. Uh, we end up with, what, uh, 14 missed free throws? <laughs> you know, you can't, you're not going to win many games doing that. And when, you know, the game ends up being a seven-point game. You know, that's big in the first half, especially. Because if you make your free throws, you know, now they're playing at a, you know, they're definitely, you know maybe they have a five-point lead or a six-point lead. Uh, but when a team gets a 13, 15-point lead, you know, it's, they're, all free, they're all free shooting. You know, there's no pressure. So, you know, the, the, we emphasize trying to make those free throws and then uh, <coughs> just compete. Don't play, uh, uh, you know, soft or afraid. You just got to kind of crash into people. You got to, you know, play as hard as you can. And, you know, I thought that one group that got us back in it a little bit, uh, you know, did some of that. Uh, was it a little more disappointing to fall behind by 27 when they don't have Kyrie? And what was the thought process in trying to get Carmelo in there even though the the unit was doing pretty good. What, what were you thinking in getting Carmelo back in the fourth? Well, they're also out there quite a bit, and they're looking like they're starting to get a little bit tired. Uh, so, you know, maybe get a guy in there, uh, you know, Carmelo's talents to, to maybe get hot and, and help you pull it out. Uh, uh, but you know, that's sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, uh, but, you know, they, they still had LeBron. We, we were kind of overmatched at that position. Carmel did a good job when he came back in, trying to battle him. Uh, uh, so, you know, here's what it is. Coach, <clears throat> the next four games are here at the Garden. What do you tell your guys about these games coming up and how important they are? Yeah, uh, they're all important. Some of them are tough, uh, tougher than others, but they're all going to be tough games. You know, uh, uh, you know the Lakers have uh, the ability to really put the ball in, in the basket and, and get points. You know, have to, you know, really focus defensively on those guys, you know, and then you end up playing, uh, you know, Clippers and Spurs are in that. And, uh, you know, Denver puts up a lot of points. So, you know, it's, a, it's an opportunity before this break. Uh, uh, we've been on the road quite a bit, but, uh, you know, somehow if we can win three of those four, um, you know, that'll, that'll set us up uh, going into the break. Coach, any update on Noah, what, what happened to him, and how is Carmelo's shoulder, what, what happened there in that first quarter? Yeah, I think he, he just, Carmelo got caught, and I think uh, uh, Joe tweaked his hamstring a little bit. Uh, so, you know, he, uh, he warmed it up through halftime and uh, you know, went back out there and 
I don't think it's real serious because we're still able to go back out there, but uh, you know, we'll have to keep an eye on it. All right, thank you.